Categories of Land Use Geographic Studies Nature has three major elements as land, water and air. All of them are essential to support not only the human life but also all other lives. Land, it is an area of the earth's surface including all elements of the physical and biological environment that influence land use. Thus, land refers not only to soil but also landforms, climate, hydrology, vegetation and fauna together with land improvements such as terraces and drainage works. Both economically and legally, past and present, all land has an owner and a title. This ownership is deep-rooted. The titles of any land and parcels of land are firmly established and they should be used with proper planning. Human Civilization As evolved over several centuries, human population thrived with several activities like searching food, constructing shelters, growing fodder, hunting animals, boating, fishing, swimming, playing and fighting for various reasons. The material requirement of the human increased along the growth of civilization and population. Preservation of resources became a necessity, acquiring more land areas for cultivation, settlement and other purposes got increased. As the population started expanding, the need to explore new areas, discovering new land frontiers, became a basic need as land was considered as a basic resource for all purposes. Art of irrigation was promoted and the art of organized human settlement was also encouraged. About 300 BC, true urban societies got evolved with occupations like merchants, manufacturers, traders, officials, priests and peasants. Growth of population and unplanned use of land resulted in deleterious effect on life and other resources. Humanly satisfying environment has become a necessity. People realize the importance of land use planning. In this episode, the following points are highlighted to understand the different categories of land use. They are proper land use planning, land use classification, urban land built up, rural land built up, importance of land use analysis. Proper land use planning. Today, land has become a valuable natural resource for all life to thrive and for carrying out many socio-economic activities. Understanding and protecting of land and other resources has become a priority subject for all countries. Patterns of development were oriented towards process of growth, expansion or realization of potential, bringing the regional resources into full productive use. The land is utilized for different purposes such as cultivation of crops, settlements of population, creation of hydroelectric, thermal and nuclear projects, development of industries and maintaining forests and wildlife. Land use. Definition. Any kind of permanent cyclic intervention of land is called as land use. It is the surface utilization of a vacant or developed land for a clear purpose at a given time. Land use is the management of land to meet human needs. This includes rural land use and also urban and industrial use. It is often mixed with land cover also. <coughs> land use and land cover. Land cover is defined as the observed biophysical cover of the earth's surface. Such an observation can be made by the human eye, aerial photographs, satellite sensors or simply existing maps. The definition embraces vegetation and man-made features and includes bare rocks, 
bare soils and water areas. Land use. Land use reflects the degree of human activities directly related to land and making use of its resources or having an impact. Two key aspects of land use are the products and benefits from use of the land and the operations applied to the land in order to produce these products and benefits. Land use is difficult to observe. Field and ground information such as surveys and censuses are usually required to study the products and benefits of land use. Land cover is about the biophysical aspect of land and land use is about the functional aspect of land. Land use is the cause and the land cover is the effect. Many of the land use operations lead to the change in land cover which is the consequence of interactions between the natural environment and the use. In agricultural senses, the area of the holding is classified according to its main land use. Knowledge of current land use is essential to support analysis and management of land, vegetation, water resources and quality and the maintenance of biodiversity. Land is a major agricultural and natural resource with significant impact on economic, environmental and social aspects of a nation and the world. Agricultural land use data are important for many of the regional and global activities. The validation of agricultural land evaluation, the preparation of perspective studies on agricultural production and food security, natural disaster relief operations, farming system studies and policy formulations among others are some examples. The land use, land cover pattern of a region is an outcome of both natural and socio-economic factors and their utilization by man in time and space. Land use classification. The objective is to provide a theoretical structure to guide data collection and creation of effective databases. Accordingly, a classification is expected to be as pragmatic and easy to understand as possible to be widely recognized and accepted. Land use is an emerging socio-economic activity wherein a region of one major specific purpose, utility, may be converted into another land for general purpose utility. A good agricultural land adjacent to a national highway is converted into a motel or hotel. Fun park is typical examples. Population explosion. Due to rapid population explosion, the demand for increased production of commodities has increased. The establishment of varieties of infrastructural facilities like road networks, airports, layouts, motels, hotels, flyovers, hospitals, bridges and canals and many such activities force people to sell their lands or use them for conversions. While settling as a hamlet, a town or a city, the ancient people thought of an orderly arrangement in locating their houses. They also have decided to identify the treasure sites and record their locations as drawings and maps. The land frontiers were considered to be very potential zones for socio-economic development. People gradually realized the need for a planned development of areas by preserving and conserving water, soil, rock and mineral resources. This way the subject of land use planning came in. Land use planning is a separate branch of study in disciplines like geography, geology, town planning, architecture, forestry, agriculture, civil and environmental engineering and development studies. The economic value of a land depends upon 
the location within the topographic, geologic and geographic structure of the area. The utility value of a land depends on various geographic factors. The type of land use depends on the location, availability of water and soil, moisture soil fertility or proximity to other human activities. A large number of land use types and categories have been worked out by various researchers of different disciplines. The classification of a land into its various uses and how these uses change over a period of time provide the background information needed for planning land resources. There are two major groups of land use categories as urban land use and rural land use. Land utilized for residential, commercial, industrial, institutional, transportation, communications and general utilities all belong to the urban land use categories. All other land not classified as urban including agricultural land, farmland, cropland, rangeland and forest land belong to the rural land use categories in general. In this module, let us see the essential categories of land use. Agricultural development, urban development, forest development, water resources development, rural development, economic development and social development are all the aims of every state in every developing nation in the world. The first attempt under these was to classify the land use patterns. The classification of land use pattern was initially attempted at continental levels. It was mainly based on the agroclimatic conditions, topography and soil types. Another major factor involved in this classification was the rainfall based on meteorological parameters agro-meteorological regions were also classified for analyzing the rainfall intensities and drought. The pattern of land use of a country at any time is determined by its physical, economic and institutional framework. In India, out of the total geographical area of 328.73 million hectares, land use statistics is available for roughly 305 million hectares contributing 93% of the total land. Till 1950, land area was classified into five broad categories as forest area, area not available for cultivation, permanent pastures and other grazing lands, land under miscellaneous tree crops, cultivable wasteland. Later, with the lead role played by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture and many other ministries including Science and Technology, a nine-fold classification was introduced. Forest land, land is not available for cultivation or non-agricultural uses, barren and uncultivable or other cultivated land, permanent pastures and other grazing land, miscellaneous tree crops and groves, cultivable wasteland, fallow land other than current fallows, net area sown and gross crop land or area sown more than once, net irrigated area and gross irrigated area. Urban land built up. Today, urban land use is broadly classified into the following classes. Built up of urban land. The built up of urban land are as follows. Residential, commercial, industrial, recreational. Under residential built up of land, we have high density residential, medium density residential, low density residential, high rise apartments or flats, medium rise apartments or flats, low rise apartments or flats, low rise row houses or 
low rise group houses slums or clusters commercial or the industrial setup the commercial and industrial setup are growing along with the rapid urbanization and the upsurge of cities the classification of commercial sector of the urban built up are given below retail and general business community center wholesale and warehousing major shopping centers and the shopping malls major hotels and parking area market yards and exhibition halls petrol bunks and banks the classification of the industrial sector are service industry light industry or extensive industry heavy industry or hazardous industry recreational parks helps in improving our physical and psychological health to strengthening our communities and making our cities and neighborhoods more attractive places to live and work under this we have parks or gardens stadium and playground gold course and race course zoo and botanical garden historical monuments and forts planetarium swimming pools major cinema halls and theaters public and semi public places in the urban built up are major education institutes cantonments or the major hospitals cremation or burial grounds religious places major government offices petrol or gas filling stations the police station and jail fire station water treatment plants landfill and dumping ground electric power plant and sewage treatment plant rural land built up under rural land built up we have rural agricultural land vegetation or forests or grazing lands the water bodies under rural residential setup we have huts and hamlets multi storied buildings and go downs temples churches mosques schools rural agricultural land built up are classified as cropland fallow land plantation or agricultural area the total of areas under arable land and permanent crops and permanent meadows and pastures arable land arable land are classified as land used for growing temporary crops temporary meadows for moving or pasture land under market and kitchen gardens and land temporarily fallow it does not include land under permanent crops or land that is potentially cultivable but is not normally cultivated land under temporary crops land used for crops with a less than 1 year growing cycle some crops that remain in the field for more than 1 year may also be considered as temporary crops asparagus strawberries pineapples bananas and sugarcane for example are grown as annual crops in some areas such crops should be classified as temporary or permanent according to the custom in the country land under temporary meadows and pastures land temporarily cultivated with herbaceous forage crops for mowing or pasture a period of less than 5 years is used to differentiate between temporary and permanent meadows land temporarily fallow arable land that is not seeded for one or more growing seasons can be called as fallow land the maximum idle period is usually less than 5 years land remaining fallow for too long may acquire characteristics requiring it to be reclassified such as permanent meadows and pastures if used for grazing forest or other wooded land land under permanent crops land cultivated with long term crops which do not have to be replanted for several years such as cocoa and coffee land under trees and shrubs 
producing flowers such as roses and jasmine and nurseries are under permanent crop sector. Permanent meadows and pastures are excluded from land under permanent crops. Permanent meadows and pastures Lands used permanently for 5 years or more to grow herbaceous forage crops through cultivation or naturally wild prairie or grazing land. Vegetation or forest and others Forest is a land spanning more than 0.5 hectares with trees higher than 5 meters and a canopy cover of more than 10% or trees able to reach these thresholds in situ. Types of forests or vegetation are classified as dense forest, open forest, regenerated vegetation, plantations, woodlands, mangroves and grazing land. Naturally regenerated forests. Forests predominantly composed of trees established through natural regeneration. Planted forests Forests predominantly composed of trees established through planting and or deliberate seeding. Other wooded land Land not classified as forest spanning more than 0.5 hectares with trees higher than 5 meters and a canopy cover of 5 to 10 percent or trees able to reach these thresholds in situ or with a combined cover of shrubs, bushes and trees about 10%. Water bodies, rivers, canals, lakes, ponds, reservoirs, inland water, areas occupied by lakes, reservoirs, rivers, brooks, streams, ponds, inland canals, dams and other landlocked water bodies are called inland waters. Wastelands also occupies a large chunk of areas which includes salt affected areas, gullies, ravines, land with or without shrub, barren land and rocky lands, sandy areas, wetlands, marshy and swampy areas, mudflats, waterlogged zones and salt pans. Importance of land use analysis Land use analysis is necessary to understand revenue administration, town planning, urban design, infrastructure development, environmental audit, habitat mapping, ownership, surface damage analysis due to disasters, change detection, surface disturbances, encroachments, pollution, etc. Land is a finite resource. While one land is used for a limited range of purposes, the other land can accommodate many potentially competing uses. The amounts of land used for each purpose are constantly changing. The nature and extent of these changes are very important for planning. Establishment of new housing on a previously developed land is a major area of concern in most of the cities. Town planning, land use planning and urban design are problem solving issues for many professions. They address the social, physical and economic well-being of cities and towns. Development studies involve proper utilization of the land resources. This study of land use also provides country-level information on several variables including agricultural land, crop land, land under temporary crops, land under temporary meadows, land temporarily fallow, land under permanent crops, permanent meadows and pastures, forests or other wooded land and other lands. Land use, land cover patterns. Land use and land cover patterns of an area are generally controlled by agroclimatic conditions, groundwater potential and hosts of other factors like irrigation facilities, 
soil characteristics, socio-economic status and demography. Land degradation due to soil erosion, soil salinization, water logging and dumping of mining or industrial waste causing deterioration of productive agricultural land in the plain areas are all serious issues to be tackled over any region. Land use planning is the systematic assessment of land and water potential, alternative patterns of land use and other physical, social and economic conditions for the purpose of selecting and adopting land use options which are most beneficial to land users without degrading the resources or the environment. Land use planning may be done at international, national, district or local levels. It includes participation by land users, planners and decision makers and covers educational, legal, fiscal and financial measures. Increasing human interventions and unfavorable bioclimatic environment has led to transformation of large tracts of land into wastelands. The satellite remote sensing plays an important role in generating information about the latest land use, land cover pattern in an area and its temporal changes through times. As human civilization evolved and population thrived, the basic needs such as food and shelter became essential. In the later stage of human development, constructing shelters growing fodder, hunting animals, boating, fishing, swimming, playing and fighting for various reasons became part and parcel of the life. The material requirement of the humans increased along the growth of population and change in lifestyle. Preservation of natural resources became a necessity. Acquiring more land areas for cultivation, settlement and other purposes got increased. The land use has grown with the time and space. As the population started expanding, the need to explore new areas, discovering new land frontiers became a basic need as land was considered as a basic resource for all purposes.